I'm Dr. Hamera Manan, a psychologist in the ME-CFS service. Um, so we're seeing long COVID affecting um, all areas of life, um, mobility, uh, ability to self-care, ability to look, af uh, look after others, um, and, and ability to work. And through our multidisciplinary team, we're offering holistic support um, to manage the wide-ranging impact of this condition. Uh, one of the aspects of this condition that can be particularly challenging uh, to manage is post-exertional fatigue. Um, this can be best il illustrated through an example. So when people are having a relatively better day, um, the tendency is often to do more. Our patients will tell us they end up doing more activity, perhaps work, study, housework, um, making phone calls and there are a number of very understandable reasons why people feel driven to do more if they're having a slightly better day. What we see as a result of this though is an increase in symptoms and this increase in symptoms um, is often a delayed reaction so it might happen uh, a, a day after or two days later and then uh, people have to rest in order to recover. Um, this can be an extremely frustrating situation for people. Um, clearly there's an impact on symptoms, but also on morale. Um, and what can happen is people get caught up in a vicious cycle, which is often referred to as the boom and bust cycle. Um, we support people with self-management and re rehabilitation through a number of our group programs and one-to-one -one support where appropriate. Some of the key themes that we address are um, helping manage activity levels, um, getting that balance with rest, the appropriate amount of rest, um, managing sleep problems, um, dealing with the impact on, on mood and anxiety, coping with, with issues to do with memory and concentration, and introducing gentle activity, gentle, gentle movement to keep the body working. Um, so this is not forced exercise, but gentle movement. Um, and, and we know from the patients that we're working with that recovery can take a long time. Uh, but we also know this gradual approach seems to work best, um, but, but patience is required. Um, so what should you do if you recognise that you have symptoms of long COVID? Uh, so if you're living in England, the first step is to contact your GP uh, to explain what you're experiencing. The GP will check that out, run some tests. and. If appropriate, they may refer you to the Long Covid clinic. The Long Covid clinic may offer um, a variety of different um, uh, types of support. They may refer you to the online Your Covid Recovery website. They may refer you to our service for further support with fatigue management. Uh, or they may, they may offer um, respiratory rehabilitation if that's appropriate.